Good afternoon, this is Rob from Next Truck Sales. I want to introduce you to our SRT10 Dodge pickup with a Venom 650R Hennessy engine upgrade package. This features, originally when this truck was built in 2005, it had the 8 liter V10 at 505 horsepower. Hennessy took the engine, tore it all down. They put stroker crank on it. They put different pistons, uh, connecting rods. They put roller cam, ported the heads, and put uh, exhaust uh, long tube headers on it. And it increased the horsepower to 670 horsepower at the crank. So this thing is a rocket ship as far as fun to drive factor. It's, it's a blast. Uh, it's not something you'd want to be driving in low traction conditions because it is a live axle with springs at the back. So connecting is a little tricky, but it's fun. It's a six speed manual. So you can do lots of, lots of fun things. This is a tire burnout machine if that's what you want to make it. Other than that, it's probably good for going for ice cream and driving around. Um, I'll take you under the hood. I'll show you the truck inside. And if you're interested in the truck and you're watching this video from the US, the truck is currently in Canada, but we will include delivery to Buffalo in the purchase price and we will take care of all of the customs paperwork required uh, to bring the title from Canada to USA. So let's have a look under the hood. Let's start there because I'm sure everybody is curious as to, um, as to what's under here. And I'll show you some of the things that are visible and there's a lot of things that are not. I'll turn off the engine and then we'll get it running and I'll just do an audio only with the engine running. I don't want to be talking over the engine. So the first thing that you're going to see is it's got a cold air intake. So it's going to pick up, that's an active hood scoop. So if you look here, you'll see that scoop is open and that's going to draw air into this pickup, which then goes into the air filter box and then into the front of the throttle body. Other than that, it's hard to notice, but you'll see here, you've got V10 long tube headers. That's gonna increase your flow. Uh, like I said, Hennessy took those heads off. They ported them, they put roller cams in them, and then they put uh, stroker crank uh, along with new pistons and connecting rods to go along with it. Other than that, it looks fairly stock. There is some cosmetic bits and pieces to the outside that kind of indicate that it's the upgraded model. But beyond that, you're not. there's not much to see. So let me just show you what we've got here. So we've got the Venom calipers, at least it could be the SRT10 caliper with a Venom decal on it. You've got Hennessy performance wheels. These are 22 inch upgraded from the stock 20s. Okay, we've got a badge here. I'll take you on the inside. There's some badging on the outside or on the inside as well. Uh, fuel filler door is there. Okay, we've got red Hennessy calipers. This has um, EBC brake pads. These are the low dust version, which you definitely want if you've got chrome wheels. At the back, obviously you've got your Viper badge, but your Venom 650R. Uh, interestingly, when they originally sold these, they ran out of tonneau covers and they weren't able to supply them. Uh, they only were able to supply about 30% of the trucks that were built. Everybody else got a credit. This one doesn't have a tonneau cover, probably aid in top speed performance, but as far as anything else i don't think you're planning on driving 200 miles an hour in this truck anyway uh give you a good look at the paint it's in excellent shape there are some stone chips nothing major there is a small stone chip here it's not a collector's car unfortunately uh, this vehicle does have uh, an accident showing on the history i don't have details of that it was back in 2006 but um, I can tell you that looking at the vehicle, uh, there's the, the title is not salvage or anything to that nature. It just shows an accident on the Carfax, but everything's put, been put back to stock and it's in perfect or next to perfect condition. I'm gonna take you on the inside here and I'll give you a look. Okay, so here we've got power locks, mirrors and windows, and I'm gonna fire it up. Okay, interestingly, this truck here has a key and a push button. So you turn the key, to the ignition to the on position, and then you push the engine start button. And to turn it off, you need to turn the key back, and then there's a little button here. You push that button and turn it back, and then your key comes out. So to start it, turn the key to the on 
clutch in, push the start. There you have it. Okay, so we've got air conditioning, manual air conditioning. Uh, we've got a Pioneer deck that's been upgraded. And when you're in reverse, you'll see the reverse camera. I'll let it, I'll let it, um, I'll let it power up and initialize first before I try to put it into reverse. But we do have our reverse camera. In here, we got 76,000 kilometers. It's about 40, 45,000 miles. I'll convert that uh, in the advertisement. Uh, this speedometer and odometer. Uh, the speedometer shows miles per hour. You'll see on the in inner numbers are in miles. So it's 170, 175 mile per hour speedometer. Uh, not sure if we can switch over the distance. It may be able to be switched. Um, you'd have to probably go on one of the forums to determine that, but uh, that is around 45,000 miles. Take a look in here. We've got our, oh, I might be able to switch it over here from metric, metric to imperial, but we'll come back to that. You've got your home link. I've got interior buttons. There is no sunroof. Uh, we've got a center armrest, which duels as a passenger seat, but I'm not sure if you'd want to sit there with the gear shifter between your legs. There you have it. So um, I'm, I did a video, uh, I'm gonna do a video with the outside of the vehicle with the exhaust tune. So I'm just gonna take you around and have you listen to the engine idling. And then you'll get a, an understanding of how this truck is set up. Oh, one other thing before I go into that, uh, it's got an upgraded sub in the back. set up power base not sure if you even want to listen to a stereo in this thing the music is in is under the hood and controlled with your right hand pedal but let's have a listen so it's a very smooth idle v10 obviously lots of cylinders for a smooth idle this truck will be sold with cold air no check engine lights no major things good brakes and ready to go cruising. Okay, I'm going to close this up and I'll give you a listen to the exhaust. If you look in here, you'll see we've got the bed liner. It doesn't look like it was ever used for anything. It looks absolutely brand new. Now we've got the wing. is uh, 9.9 out of 10. I do see a little bit of this plastic door panel peeling off. It looks like it's held on with double-sided tape. Uh, one stone chip there and a couple of stone chips here that have all been touched up. Beyond that, for a 2005, that makes it a 17-year-old truck. Pretty excellent shape. So if you have any interest in this truck, feel free to give me a call. My cell phone number is area code 289-259-6054. And the best way to reach me is to send me a text, 289-259-6054. I hope to hear from you soon. Bye for now.